Andrea, the stage is yours. Welcome on stage. Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, my name is Andrea Nunch and I'm very happy to be here uh, with you all. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Nucleo and Science on Stage Portugal and Europe for putting together this amazing festival. It's such an honor, an honor to be here. This is a big stage. Uh, Rosa asked me to be quick in my presentation, so I'll try to follow my guidelines. Uh, and thank you for listening about Mighty Valentina and the power of books. And thank you, Rosa, for having me. So I've been working at schools with children, young adults and teachers for about 10 years now, promoting gender equality and preventing gender violence. At this moment, I work with NGO UMAR. It's one of the oldest uh, organizations here in Portugal fighting for gender equality. And we work a program of preventing gender violence with schools. We work alongside with citizenship teachers. And we have a lot of students from different ages. And we work about gender stereotypes, human rights, and fighting dating violence, for example. Uh, we mix a lot of arts strategies to work with these matters. So I'm really enthusiastic about the power of art in raising awareness for equality, fighting stereotypes and violence. I am a sociologist, probably a wannabe still. <laughs> I'm doing my PhD researching about gender stereotypes in award-winning children books. So thanks to this privileged contact with children, I realized that especially the small children still identify some jobs and careers as being gendered. So we need more diverse role models, especially in STM areas where we have a lower percentage of women because there is no such thing as boys or women's jobs. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. So gender stereotypes result from the influence of various agents. Might that be the family, the school with their formal curricula or hidden curricula, the media, the social media, and of course, books. And they keep reinforcing this way to be a girl and a way to be a boy as being separate and opposed. And this includes attitudes, play, who they are, and more importantly, who they will become. So these gender stereotypes are harmful to both of them because they limit their potential. And we are so many in the world, so many different people, why should we fit only into static boxes? Do you agree? Yes. No? Okay. So, it's probably not random that we might have a hard time naming great women in different areas. Women painters, for example. Yes, of course, we can say Frida Kahlo, but can you say nine other painters? Women painters. It's probably difficult. Women inventors, women in sciences, women in space careers. Well, I, prob I probably hope that you know how to name 10 women in sciences here at this festival. But in general, students don't know. They only can say Marie Curie and then they, they stop and think about nine more. So it's not random that we know so well about the first man who stepped into the moon, which was Neil Armstrong, but probably don't know the name of the first woman astronaut who went to space. Do you know her name? I was hoping you would know her. So women's achievements are often erased from history and we need to tell their stories and make them visible. Literary texts such as children books are not mere objects. They have symbolic and cultural capital and they make us read the world and feel free as citizens enjoying the culture. Books have an important socialization role by presenting models and values at a crucial stage when the child is develop developing her personality, school skills, but also skills for interpreting the world, the body, the emotions, the affective bonds, and the reality. So this period from zero to six years is a crucial period where children are developing their gender identity. And so they are quite permeable to these gender stereotypes. And it's the time they will be, they will be having the first contact with books so it's a real crucial period to think about this. 
Books are powerful weapons of gender socialization and have strong impacts on children, attitudes, behaviors, identity development, and also self-esteem. Uh, actually, gender stereotypes in children books might come in different uh, elements, such as the characters, the plot of the narrative, the dialogues, the images, and the illustrations. Children try to identify with the main character, and they are very uh, looking forward to see how he or she resolves the conflict, and how does he get away with some troubles in my final way. Children books have been under analysis for their gender stereotypes, especially in the United States in the 70s, alongside with the feminist movements. But here in Portugal, we are still a bit behind. We are still more focused on scholar books than artistic books or non-scholar books. And all these studies have shown female underrepresentation, not just as the main character, but as a whole, we have less female characters. Male characters are portrayed as strong, braver, courageous, the heroes. Female characters are portrayed as beautiful, sweet, delicate, and the need to be safe. Of course, not every book is like this, but there is a pattern that we should be aware of. Do you agree with this pattern? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have that experience in books? Yes? So, I did a, re uh, a little research when I was working on my master, and I analyzed some award-winning children books here in Portugal, and I concluded the same that international studies. Uh, there are some dimensions where you can find greater inequalities. For example, about the hobbies, the leisure time and the household tasks. Rest and doing nothing period of the male characters contrast with the cooking and cleaning chores associated with the female characters. So we have a lot of male characters just lying on the couch and resting, saying, oh, it feels nice to be here. But we don't see many fem female characters doing that because they are always uh, working on the, on the shores or, or taking care of the children. Uh, also, when it comes to jobs, female characters are still very stereotyped as mothers, uh, house, housewives or library teachers. And books need to be better allies showing the improvements we have made because we know that we have women in all areas of careers. And uh, books should, should show that uh, conquests that we have, have been made making and they should also look forward into the reality and show us what reality and what the world could be like. So they should focus more in trying to show, for example, parents, male parents being tender with their children. We don't see that. Uh, also, male parents dividing the chores with their spouses, for example. So there's a lot of work to be done. Stories with ne negative stereotypes have shown negative impacts, whereas stories with egalitarian stories have shown positive impacts. Uh, actually, studies show that the persistence of a child in a certain task is better or is greater if he sees or he heard or she heard about a story where the same gender in the character has done, um, has succeeded at that task. And this is why diverse role models in books that challenge these limitations are so important. I, myself, tried to change a little bit of this reality and I wrote a children's book inspired by a great woman and her achievements. This is the book, it's called Mighty Valentina, or in Portuguese, Valent Valentina. Actually, this was an idea from Rosa. I told her I was going to write the book in Portuguese, and she said, oh no, you need to write it in English as well, so you can get to more and more people, and that is true. Uh, so she told me about the Science on Stage Festival, and she said, well, you have to present it, so it has to be in English. So she's responsible for this being also in English, and I'm very happy I did it. Um, Raquel Piano can see the illustrations, she's right there. She's also an award-winning illustrator, so I feel very very blessed. Um, it, is a, um, it is scientifically reviewed by the Institute of Astrophysics and Space Sciences. Have you heard about it here in Portugal? This institute? No? Okay. And also Nucleo, and we are also partner, we also partner with the Secretary of State for Citizenship and Equality, Rosa Monteiro. Uh, and we also have Teresa Lago, 
Have you heard about Teresa Lago? She's the, let me get this right. General Secretary of IE. General Secretary of IE, that's right. So a lot of partners in this journey about Mighty Valentina. Uh, I was just, I'm just trying to give my contribute to changing this book reality about the way portrait, uh, women are portrayed. And I hope this can be an instrument that you can use as teachers with your children, with your students, and we'll be showing it off at the Nucleo stand, and we'll, give, we'll be giving some autographs if you would like to buy some. So thank you so much for listening to me. It was a real pleasure, and be my team. Thank you so much. So uh, we have